comes in, just make sure to silence it real fast if it does, you know. Hi, welcome. It's uh, Robert Hello. McCarter. It's uh, Maria McCarter, and it's Let's Talk Real Estate. How are you? Uh, coming to you live in the uh, downtown bunkers right here in Hartford County, and we're so excited that you're with us. Hey, in the yes. real estate market right here in Hartford County, uh, we've picked out a couple of uh, of our our our. Are subdivisions that we we enjoy. We like to uh, sell in. We like to represent buyers in, and uh, we're going to give you some housing stats in those two developments uh, and a lot more information. And this is going to be a jam packed uh, program. Um, we're going to provide that for you just as soon as we get back. Hi and welcome back and uh, we're just we've had such a wonderful week. It's been an exciting week. 
A little bit of rain today, a little bit of rain last night as well, and uh, but we've kind of trudged through that, and uh, we've been working with several uh, different buyers and just trying to navigate them uh, uh, through uh, through the the muddy waters. And um, this coming weekend, we had some exciting news, didn't we, Maria, from uh, from Governor Hogan, uh, even the governor out of Delaware, just and uh, just recently. So we're kind of opening up uh, some outdoor venues here for the the uh, restaurants, uh, which is a good breather for the restaurants. Um, and also for outdoor pools, right? So, I mean, for, camps, for the pools camps and camps. At yep. 25% capacity. 25% capacity. And for also uh, sports, for outdoor sports as well. Now, I think my son was just letting me know that I think you can only right. have 10 people on the sports field. So, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Uh, but again, it's uh, yeah. it's going to allow people to kind of just get out there and uh, and have a little bit of fun. And but but again, we advocate doing it safely, of course. You know, um, so there are going to be some people out there that are still going to be wearing their masks, um, implementing social distancing. So you know, be kind to the, to to those people. Um, you know, because uh, we want to respect everyone out there. Um, uh, so anyhow, uh, with that so, said, how's everything going with you, honey? I'm good, honey. Hey, I, hey, I just want to let you know. You look absolutely beautiful today. Thank you, honey. And you smell wonderful. I try to smell you know wonderful. I, I try. Think, doesn't she smell wonderful, folks? Smell but, into the camera. But smell, but into anyway. your, smell into your phones right now. Doesn't she smell wonderful? So oh. we're going to do Maria's social moment. And we're just going to check in what's going on in town. So um, I want to say hello to Lucy and Sean. Hello, Lucy. And Lucy, I'll probably be texting you later tonight for real. I've thought about you all day today. I'm going to need some of the products you sell. Um, but anyway, and I did try to take your survey. But it didn't work out. I don't know why. But we'll work, worry about that soon enough. So Rob was sharing some good news, and whether we're at twenty-five capacity percent capacity or we are um, ten people on the field, thank God we are out. Exactly. That's how I yep. feel. Yeah. Exactly. So um, I was just reading about Bagel Works in Bel Air. Uh, they are have all this outdoor seating with a tent, and they've been waiting like three weeks to get the word to Ready Set Go, which they've gotten. So Saturday they're going to be open. And I don't know how limited the seating is going to be, but by the pictures on Facebook, it looks like a nice amount of seating. So I know this week we went into Sunny Day and um, we picked up lunch and, um, and we will be having them as a guest uh, next week. The new what? owner. We're going to have Sunny Day next week? We are. The oh. new owner. Maybe I'll go pick something special up to show you everybody. You don't want to miss that show because we're so, going to have them next you week. you know, um, we all love Sunny Day. It's one of our favorite places. Yes. Um, so, and then we do want to give a shout out to the class of 2020. Um, this week has been a big graduation week for everybody. And uh, we just wish you all the best. And next week, tune in because we're going to have some special things for you all. Yes. So I want you guys to chime in, nominate your favorite graduate. You know, we want to wish Sierra Garrison a um, congratulations. And we also want to uh, wish Megan Coyne congratulations from graduating. So That's right. I'm no. sure there's many more, but you guys share them with us. Listen, there's, there's tons more. Maria and I just love looking at our news feed and seeing all the different uh, graduation photographs. And, uh, and we're just thrilled. We're just absolutely thrilled to be able to see all of them. So we congratulations do. to the class of 2020. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. So, Maria, do you have anything else you wanted to share? I think I've covered my highlights. Maria covered the highlights. Absolutely. So, uh, we have a special guest, and you've seen him before if you follow our show. And yes. uh, so, we do have uh, Carlo Buendia with us. Carlo's in the house. Give it up for Carlo. There he is right there. Hello, hello. Um, he's with us today. Carlo is going to be talking to us. Um, we're going to be bantering back and forth about constant friendship in Brentwood uh, Park, just talking about some of the housing stats and things like right. that. Um, and also, uh, Carl, I'm going to keep you on the screen here with us uh, because uh, we're going to talk about a couple other things that we've had. Uh, some exciting things that have happened this week within our team. Yeah. Uh, one is, by the way, I don't. We don't have the magazine, but we just got the magazine today from Baltimore Real Producers. I can, get it. can you grab it? I'll real quick? Be right yeah, back. She'll be right back. She's leaving the I'll set, right folks, back. for the very first time. Uh, but Baltimore Real Producers, I want to give it up to. Um, uh, to, to Colleen Rippey and uh, and the, Jillian. the uh, Jillian, the entire staff there, and Blair, uh, and Blair, Blair, thank you very much. Blair, they're admin. Yep, they're admin. So they did a super super fun ep um, series. I don't know if you could see it. Or yeah, not. you probably see that on the camera, but we're we're right there on the on on the on the middle screen right there. So we decided to do a little photo shoot outside of our house 
uh, right next we to the did, chicken coop and uh, just be able to work in this uh, this COVID environment. Uh, this uh, They call yes. the, the issue the Corona uh, Chronicles. Uh, so it's kind of funny there. And we were kind of working with the chickens and on our laptop and on our cell phone and things. And um, they wanted to know, like, what's changed with everybody working exactly. with, since COVID's happened. And, um, and you know, they, they gave some snapshots of history. And there we are in the circle. Um, so, you know, you, everybody knows. Anyone that knows me, I love to cook, love to eat, obviously. And I love to garden, and I do love my chickens. That's right. So yep. I take the desk outside. I've got chairs and a table set up for your role to work. Yep. Um, so we had so we had a lot of fun watching that, uh, reading that magazine today. We but did. Uh, so I, I wanted to share a couple of other things that have happened this week. So we we had our first uh, virtual uh, uh, home uh, um, home. Uh, we, we we had a a open house rather. I'm sorry. So we, we had, had a couple, a couple virtual. virtual. We had a couple virtual we things going, going on. So we I did. have to apologize. We did. So our fir first virtual open house uh, that I personally conducted myself, and we basically designed that in house, and it really worked very very well. I tell you, and uh, and uh, yes. Carrie uh, Carrie who is uh, just ch uh, chimed in in the house. Hey Carrie, good to see you. Um, Carrie really helped out a lot. And Mike, Mike navigating and Chelsea that. are here. Hi, Mike. Yep. Hi, Chelsea. Yep, Mike's here. Hope you're enjoying that beautiful new place. So Carrie really, so Carrie really helped out with this. And I tell you, as soon as from start to finish, uh, we we just had a great showing, a great outpouring. Um, we were able to kind of really show this house off just beautifully uh, with our virtual open house. We're going to do so many more. Um, and uh, hopefully it's not the new norm, but I tell you, it's going to be something uh, that's going to be in our toolkit, right, Carlo? We're going to keep that in our toolkit of things Absolutely. that we could do in the future. Uh, Carlo, uh, you are muted, but let me see. It's probably on my end. So, so we have you. actually sold a couple homes, and the seller was never, the buyer was never present. Yeah. Now, present virtually, but not you know, physically present. And they they loved it. They knew the area, just like some of the areas Carlo and Rob are going to talk about tonight. They're very well known. They're very popular and a, a nice place to live and for a bunch of reasons that I'm sure they're going to share. So, um, yep. you so know, we have sold homes that way virtually. And then we had a great um, buyer's seminar, you know, to educate the buyers out there because everyone's been in. But mm -hmm. you know what? It, Housing's essential. You need a place to live. So, Carlo, just want to make sure you uh, you're good on your sound. I'm good here. Perfect. I hear you perfectly. Perfect. Excellent. So he's back. Carlo was part of the uh, of the free. We ha we did have a free virtual uh, home buyer workshop uh, that was very well attended. We had such a uh, an outpouring of information uh, for these folks. Uh, and they had great questions for us as well. And uh, we are yeah. definitely going to be doing this again, uh, probably sometime in June. So if you are watching the show right now, uh, we're going to be doing this. And you want to follow us on Facebook. Uh, so if you've not followed us on Facebook now, you definitely want to do that forward slash MD Homes Team uh, because you want to be able to get the notifications of when that next uh, virtual home buyer workshop is going to occur. And guess what? The great thing about it is you can sit back on your sofa. Uh, you don't have to have the video part of it on. Uh, you can probably watch Netflix in the background if you want, but I think everyone was very attentive. They had great questions. They were writing things down. And uh, Carl was a part of that workshop. So, Carl, how did you Absolutely. think it went? Oh, it went great. I think uh, everybody, the feedback was good. Everybody learned a lot of stuff. And they just look forward to working with us and finding their dream home, and they're excited. So uh, I think it went pretty well. I yeah. think it did. Yeah, it really did, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Our team really came together uh, really well. We had everybody on our team yeah. there, and uh, I tell you, w w it went really well. So I really appreciate it. So um, um, so that was, uh, uh, that was a couple of great things that really happened this week. So we had a great team meeting um, as well. So anyhow, let's move on, and I uh, just wanted to talk about uh, market stats, and we're going to get into the market stats just as soon as we get back. So the market stats, uh, Carla, we've, uh, we're going to be picking out a couple of different subdivisions 
Uh, hopefully, maybe on a weekly basis, maybe a couple times a month, Maria. I think we're going to do that uh, because, again, you know, we are, uh, you know, we're real estate professionals, and this is all about uh, let's talk real estate, and we want to really talk about uh, real estate. So, listen, if you are viewing this at home, maybe you're viewing it live right now. Uh, and you want to talk about a certain subdivision, maybe in one of our future shows, please DM us. Um, you can email us, give us sure. a call, say, hey, look, please get, talk about our, our uh, particular subdivision mm -hmm. or even something outside of Hartford County. We service nine different um, mm -hmm. nine different markets. So please uh, give us a shout out because we're going to not only do Hartford County, but we're going to do other um, uh, markets as well. But we just uh, right. chose to choose uh, these couple of uh, subdivisions here. Uh, we do sell actively within these subdivisions, representing buyers Absolutely. and sellers. Um, and so, we're all over Maryland. We cover yep. all of Maryland, P I mean, and PA, and Delaware too. So, yep. you know, we're, we're you just name one, and we'll ready set go. Exactly. So the first one I wanted to tackle, Carlo, if um, if you have some uh, information in front of you there, uh, as far as uh, let's let's tackle Brentwood Park. So Brentwood Park, I really like this subdivision a lot. Um, you know, you, it's, you know, basically it features mid-sized homes. Um, mm -hmm. They are, uh, you know, you have a mixture of townhomes, condos, single-family homes. Yeah. They were built somewhere between the 1988, 1997. Um, they range in square footage anywhere from 960 square foot all the way up to around uh, 2,900 square feet. Um, so it's a wide range uh, there. Uh, they right. typically sit on about a quarter acre lot. They typically, most of them have about have a garage. You can also park on the street, um, and, and they uh, have nice sidewalks. So they have really nice sidewalks family. as well. And yep. the school is walkable. I used to teach at Red Pump. I know you guys all know that. So we had a lot of the kids and the moms walking, running, walking the dog with them. It, you know, the elementary school is walkable because it's Red Pump. Now, again. Harford County could change a rule over the summer and make a new division and separate whatever. So, but right now it's walkable to Red Pump if that's where they're going to go. So I know that uh, even a lot of the teachers were super healthy. They were running to school and they were biking with their kids with the three wheel bikes or the three seater bikes. So, and they love that, you know, get everybody out moving. So Carlo, if you look at these stats here, it really is a reflection of where the market is right now. That it is absolutely... Um, there's there's not a lot of inventory out there. There's a lot of buyers, but not a no. lot of inventory. Give me your thoughts on that when you take a look at these stats that are in front of us. Yeah, I mean, for instance, you know, constant friendship, that's always been mm -hmm. what I consider the mecca of townhomes in Harford County. I mean, if you're looking for a, a small townhome upwards towards a 2,200 square foot townhome with a three level bump out, you're going to find it there yeah. and those prices are going to range typically anywhere from the low 200s upwards towards the mid 200s depending upon the size and along with the updates and upgrades that you've made to the house along the way but it's just one of those popular communities it's close to harford glen you're close yes. to shopping at the festival you're close to the highways and byways 95 yeah. and it's just one of those sweet spots in the county and it's just really popular and, you know, they have other single family homes in the neighborhood along with condos as well at the point, which is right mm -hmm. close there. Yeah. And that's one of those few kind of communities that you can actually get three bedrooms, you know, and that's kind of a unique thing over there, yeah. too. So it's just one of those very, very popular communities close to the movies, shopping, everything you could ask for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so if we tackle Brentwood Park like Brent, Brentwood Park. When you go back to that property there, that is. You know, one of the very few communities in Bel Air that mostly, um, you know, you you have false in schools that are tied in with that. Now, you do have Red Pump as well. That's elementary. Um, that's the, that's but your you're elementary. Talking middle and high. I'm talking about middle and high. And right. Red Pump is a highly sought after elementary school as well. I love uh, Blue Red Ribbon. Blue, Blue Ribbon, Ribbon School. It's in, and uh, people just love uh, uh, Red Pump. Fabulous it's one of the Harford County's newest elementary schools. It is. Um, and I've been in that school many times. It's a, just a wonderful school. They to have. See me. Can you believe? Uh, just to show my age, they have uh, their own TV station. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I walked in there. I thought I was in like a WMAR or WBL. Yeah. It's unbelievable. So. And um, Principal Blaine Hall is amazing. She's always there for the kids and the teachers you would love her exactly um, but, 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 but right now you only have two active listings in there right now and, and I, I went back this past quarter so going from january 1st of this year all the way up to today's date you have two active listings in there 
Um, the median price in there right now for those two active listings is 407,000. Median basically meaning just for those average. that, yeah, exactly. You're talking about about 407,500 with an average of about 68 days on the market. So just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, there's only one pending sale that's in Brentwood Wood right now. And is that us? And um, that's yeah, probably us. It could be, could be us. So we and, do have a property in there right that now. That lot is almost a half an acre. It's a corner lot, premium lot. I mean, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the porch. Sometimes you see in the newer homes, the porches are a little shorter. This porch, you could put a rocking chair, a table, and still have room for a, maybe a chase or an ottoman. You have plenty of room. It's not so short. You barely can get that chair on, like the one we have at the beach house. So, yeah, um, I like the big. You know, some of the big porches. They're so nice. Uh, but yeah, and we're right. Well, I can't tell you, but we're close to those numbers. Yeah, so just to let you know, too, um, I mean, you, uh, in this past quarter, you've only had two closed properties so far. So that just kind of tells you, again, you know, where we are in the marketplace right now. You know, we right. need inventory because I can tell you yes. right now, we have a lot of buyers that are looking in these particular areas, yeah. and there's just not the inventory that's available right now. I mean, would you agree, Carlo? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Brentwood Park's always been one of those neighborhoods that – Super popular. Um, you have the single family homes, the townhomes, and the condos and over the condos, there. Yeah. And I mean, one of the unique thing is the condos, or the, I should say the townhomes, are actually have condo ownership over there. Yes. So that's one of those things that you know you should be aware of, along with some of those townhomes not having a basement. So some of those townhomes yeah. over there have that's the two true. levels. So there's a couple of different true. options when you go over there, but basically something for everyone over there and it's just one of those few unique places in Bel Air where you know that has Fawcett schools for the middle and high and you know you don't see that in too many Bel Air communities so that's unique in itself and it's close to the mom pa trails and yeah. you know, it's just a, got a great surrounding tree community and you know yes all popular. that's true yeah, yeah. So we have we have several buyers who are con who are consistently looking in that particular development. Mm -hmm. I know uh, a couple of years ago we even had a for sale by owner that had actually popped up in that mm -hmm. area, and we actually represented the buyers to actually yes. purchase that for sale by owner. So and their parents um, had already lived in the neighborhood, so they already yeah. knew that's where they wanted yeah, to be. Yeah. So uh, so that is a great neighborhood. Now, constant friendship, a little bit different story. Carlo already really hit the nail on the head there, my friend. That it is the hub of of townhome uh, uh, living um, in in Hartford County, it, you are in the middle of just every amenity Great possible location. there. You're near Wegmans, you're near Walmart, you're near Target, um, you're near something near and dear to my heart, and that is Chick Fil A, uh, which oh, I absolutely love. Okay, so so um, we need to thank God I, we don't live there right now because where would I be? Where would I be spending all my money? Uh, probably Maybe not all of it. Gabriel Brothers. Gabe's. Yeah, she I loves Gabe's love and Home Goods. Gabe's. You got Home Goods there, yes. right? Oh home my Goods. gosh, I can find me some and, good deals there. And if you work anywhere up and down the 95 corridor, corridor, you're literally only what three to five minute drive to get to the 95 corridor. So right. it just makes it so convenient to get to those areas, and your affordability factor is just is absolutely fantastic. Right now, the residents, your residents numbers in um, Constant Friendship, you're at about 6,450 residents that live w in that particular area. Now, keep in wow. mind, Constant Friendship is huge. It incorporates a it lot of smaller yeah. subdivisions. Is that right, Carlo? You have a lot of smaller oh, subdivisions correct. there? You have what, Monmouth Meadows? You have some other de uh, developments in there. Yeah, now, I would actually say that Monmouth is not part of Constant Friendship. That's across Singer Road. It, exactly. Yeah, I would say places like Winter's Run, mm -hmm. Constant Woods, and mm -hmm. those places are kind of mini subdivisions within the whole of Constant Friendship in itself. So, mm -hmm. I mean, basically, it's got, you know, homes that have been around for a number of decades, but, you know, with younger homes with more modern style and bump outs. So, you know, it's really got a little bit for everybody. Good, good. Can you hear me okay? I just had to sneeze yep. and I, mute, I had to mute my mic. Sorry about that. God bless you. So, yeah, you're right, Carlo. Absolutely. Um, I kind of incorporate that entire area. But, yeah, you have a little over 6,000 residents. On average, you know, you're talking about 42 years old that lives in there. And uh, you have, um, uh, in about 91%, I thought this was an interesting stat, 91% of everyone that lives in there are homeowners. 
Um, so I thought mm -hmm. I've kind of thought there would be a few more um, um, landlords, a few more renters uh, that live in that area, but no, that's well, not 9%, true. Nine percent, if you think of nine percent of six thousand, that's a large number. Yeah, fairly and large number. But honestly, we represented three just in, in the last few months of of sellers that were renting and they know that the prices are so strong right now that they sold and they did very, very well. Yeah. And you also find that in Brentwood Park, that there's a couple rentals in there that are really strong. I know that Lucy um, and Sean were sharing that they have a rental back there and they love it. Um, and you know, you tend to see people that are really excited to be in a good school district and, and walkable places and nice sidewalks that they probably will take care. I, my guess would be they would take care of their house nicer, you know, if yeah. you had a rental back there. But sure. They, she said it's been great having a rental back there. So even as an investment, you know, there was one back there, Rob, do you remember, um, that a tree fell on it and they said that the owner went to, so they thought the owner went to Florida and she never came back. And like it sat there with a tree in the middle of the house. So we tried to find those owners. That's amazing. Because that would have been a good investment. So here's a, some really interesting stats uh, that I just wanted to share with you. And this gives you a, a, an, a very interesting gauge of where we are in the marketplace and where... You know, buyers are really fighting for these properties right now, just as soon as something comes on the market. And Carlo, you and I, the rest of our team, we've had multiple conversations about this, about how we really have to strategize for our buyers to be able to get them, um, the to win. put their best foot forward and be able to win these contracts and get them in these properties. Yeah. So right now, in the very first quarter, from January up until today's date, right now, out of, you can imagine, out of 6,500 properties, we have only six active listings in that development. Only six yep. in that entire community. Wow. Only six active active That's properties. That's like 0.001%. Like it's crazy. Correct. Correct. Now out of the closed properties in that same time frame from January to this point right here, we have 52. 52 closed properties. Now guess how many would be pending right now? Pending properties out of that development. So Rob, why don't you share what pending is? Or Carlo, let's tell our audience what pending means because, you know, we, we talk the real estate language every day, but they're here to learn. So what does pending mean? Well, pending means that the property is under contract. And typically a home can be under contract with a kickout or a non-kickout, meaning that if a home's under contract and that person has a home to sell, and they've made it contingent upon that home sale, then they could potentially be kicked out of that contract by another offer. But in this market right now, it's more or less pending and contingent with no kick out because sellers know that homes are flying off the market at the moment mm -hmm. and they're just not entertaining that. So right. four times right. than not, it's under contract. There's no more showings from that point unless the seller wants to have backup offers. Right. Correct. Yep. So that's why it's really important to get your house on the market first and then start looking for your property because you're going to be more attractive to that seller when you buy that your house is already on the market. And if you guys have one in Casa Friendship or Brentwood Park and you're just thinking about selling, give us a call. We'll give you a, a, a home value analysis and you know let's get it on the market. We'll help you sell that as fast as you would like to. Exactly. So the pending properties that you have right now, 21 properties, 21 properties. So you can't tell me that it's still not an active market. It absolutely is. Coronavirus or no coronavirus, it is still a very active prop, uh, market right now. When you have 21 pending sales and you only have uh, just a few, six active uh, listings right now. And out of the active listings, three of them are on the market only one day, three days, oh. six days, two days. Four of the of the six, they've yeah. they've been on the market for less than a week. Mm -hmm. So it's a very active market right now. Really and hard. the ones that have closed, by the way, Carla, just to just to make you aware, fifty two of them have closed, and right now there's only three coming soon. Only three properties that are coming soon. And just to let you know what a coming soon property is, for those of you that may not know what a coming soon is, a coming soon basically allows the seller up to a twenty one day period to be able to do any kind of necessary repairs 
or uh, maybe they want to switch out carpet or paint or something like that in the home, right. it gives them an opportunity to do that for up to a 21 day period. Right. And I know we discussed coming soon um, at length last week, so I won't belabor that anymore. Good. But right now, out of over 6,000 properties uh, that you have in that development, only three properties are coming soon. We need more inventory. We do. We absolutely do. I'm going to wear a hat that buyers. says, we need yeah, we, your house. We need your house. Instead yeah, of, we, we need, need you. Exactly. Red, white, and blue. Exactly. I'll have that next week. Exactly. So this is a great development. It really is. You have the library nearby. And I love oh, that's dry. a nice library. Uh, it yep. is a great library. That is a nice yep. one. It's great and for don't kids. don't forget the new trails that they've implemented there. That's, that's right. right. I forgot School. about that. And the the soccer field there. Yes. Yep, exactly. So Lots if you want more information about these communities, or maybe you're looking to, to relocate into Hartford County and you think that one of these communities might fit your needs, but in the description below, we have a direct link on our website at searchmydreamhome.com yes. where you could directly search for homes in Constant Friendship or in Brentwood Park. So that's provided yes. to you right in the um, in the description below this video. So make sure you visit that. If you are looking to sell your property in either one of those uh, developments, please uh, get a free instant home valuation right now. Check out uh, ourhomevalue.com. Go to that website, click in your information there. If you want a more detailed valuation, if you don't like the number that you saw, and maybe you did a bunch of updates to your property and you want to get credit for that, Please, we will contact you. Oh, you can contact us. us and we will do a one-on-one -on -one consultation yes. with you. We'll walk through your property and we will update that number for you. So I want to make sure that you understand that, okay? Um, and and the great thing about searchmydreamhome.com is it's not like realtor.com or Trulia or Redfin. They it, it You're not going to get 20 calls from agents. You're not going to get 20 calls from lenders. Your phone's not going to blow up. Text, calls, everything. It's very, it's private, confidential. Your information goes nowhere. So it's a safe place to search. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we're going to be picking out a couple more uh, subdivisions that we want to talk about. They may be in Harford County. They may not be in Harford County. We may do Cecil and, or we may do Baltimore County as well. Yeah, so Anne Arundel's, nice um, Anne Arundel's nice as well. Light, but light, we do, light, lots like I said, we do, there. we do nine markets. So if you have one that you would like us to discuss, maybe bring up some very recent housing uh, uh, stats, please go ahead and DM us or email us and we will make sure that we bring that information up uh, to you. Um, as well. Absolutely. So, uh, anything else you wanted to share, Carla, while we're online? Um, other than that, I would say, you know, be sure to like and follow the Maryland Homes Team Facebook page because we have other virtual home buying seminars that will be coming up in the future. Yes. We have great events coming up. We do. Along with all the other open houses and good information, and it's just something that you want to be a part of. So, yes, so correct. Stay that and along sure with the do. show every Thursday. Yep. Yeah. E exactly. And then next week oh, we also have we have something fun next, next week. week. So we have we have a reveal that we're going to do a freebie mm -hmm. that's going to be for everyone, uh, for all of our buyers and sellers. Uh, we have a freebie for you guys. And I can't even contain myself, so I'm no, not no, going to no. share it. You better not. I'm not going to share you it. You are worse than any woman I've ever met. You just tell the secrets and you can't keep I, your mouth shut. But I, I'm a part of it, so I can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, try. anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's almost like a game, but you are going to just absolutely oh, love it. Man. So you have I to tune in next week. Anything. Share it on your on your Facebook page. Share our show on there because next week is going to be a lot of fun, along with yes. the interview of the owner of Sunny Day, Sunny Day, Sunny Day Restaurant, Very excited. Uh, right yeah, here in Bel Air. Super nice guy. Oh my yep. gosh, what yep. a pleasure to talk to. You're and of love course, it. the former owners, Lori and her husband, they were lovely too. So we'll say hi to them in their retirement. I hope they're enjoying that. Um, and and we have a great Father's Day giveaway coming up. We can't tell you right now. To another surprise. Another but surprise. We, might, we are going to be talking about next that week next is going to be full week. of surprises. Yes, yes. Oh my it goodness! Is. That's right. So you better stay tuned. We hope we see you. See you next week. Yep, yep. So you have to stay tuned next week. We're going to have yes. a blast, and uh, we're just we're looking forward to it. So remember a couple of things. If you do choose to buy or sell your home with us, 
Remember yes. that you do get a five-day, four-night luxury cruise certificate for two to either Mexico, the Bahamas, or the West Caribbean. And remember, that's been extended out an additional six months to register for that. So uh, so it gets you well beyond the coronavirus. So don't worry about the virus at all. Uh, you're going to be well beyond that. You're going to enjoy this trip. You're going to want this trip. Believe me, you're going to deserve it. Once you unpack all those million, a bo million boxes in your brand new lovely home, uh, you're going to want this trip. So uh, we're going to enjoy giving you that lovely certificate uh, for that five-day, four-night luxury cruise. So remember that. So every time you say the Mexico, Bahamas, or the West Caribbean, you sound like Bob Barker from The Price is Right. You know how they do those great Lake Tahoe <laughs> gifts at the I, end? I wish I had his that, money. That's I just, what you sound like. I just want his money. You anyway. know, that's it. That's it. So... Without further ado, does anyone have any questions online before we get off of the show today, this evening? Everyone just wants to get to dinner. That's probably what it is. I know. Me too. So without without further ado, Maria, we are what? We are better. Together. We are be better together. And remember this. It matters financially who you work with. Yeah. So remember that. So if you're going to interview agents, you can interview us to either list your property Thank or you. to buy your, uh, buy your home. But we may be able to sell you hundreds, if not maybe thousands of dollars just thousands. by using Maryland Homes Team of, uh, as your agent for the next purchase or sale of your property. So remember that. And remember to like and share our Facebook page and turn Please. on those net notifications yes. uh, for our next show. Okay? Until next time, we will see you later and have a blessed evening see and week. See you later.